Hi, everybody. Today we're going to find out why this 1934 penny is enshrined next to the swimming pool down behind this house. And we're going to look into that. And that's the question for today. It all starts at the end of Highway 1, down at the very southernmost point of the U.S., in Key West, Florida. And that's where we're going to start this journey. This house was built between 1848 and 1851, but in the 1930s, it was inhabited by Ernest Hemingway and his wife. And therein becomes the story of the penny. But before we get there, we're going to take a tour. Here we are walking through the gardens, very lush tropical gardens. The land is 16 feet above sea level, making it the second highest point on Key West. Now we're going to see back there, that's his little writer's escape room. We're going to come back to that later. For now, let's just walk through the gardens and then we'll move into the main room. Now we're entering the house when you come in off the front porch to the right is kind of the large living room. And I'm not going to talk about everything that's in here. Uh, it's just too much and uh, you really need to take the tour to see it and read about it and hear the tour guide. So we're just going to watch as we walk through. Coming out of the main way, we enter the kitchen, and it looks like a typical kitchen from back in the day. Off to the side of the kitchen is a little uh, cubby cabinet holding some vases and some china, and then we move into the dining room, which will complete the first floor. Now we're going to head up the stairs, which are in the center of the house, directly uh, inside the front door, and splits the house in two. Off to the right is the master bedroom. A lot of mementos and knickknacks from Hemingway's trips, uh, and here you see a lot of things that he brought, over, brought back from Africa. Coming out of the master bedroom, going to the uh, what I think is the northwest corner. Uh, I believe that this was a spare bedroom at one time, now maintaining some of his memorabilia. Off the uh, guest room is a step down bathroom. Moving on to uh, what I think is the uh, southwest corner, uh, we get into more of his uh, activities, some more knickknacks he brought back from Africa, pictures of some of his wartime efforts as a war correspondent, uh, and other things he did over there, uh, as well as we'll see some of his uh, hunting equipment and photos.
Now we're off the corner of back to his master bedroom, looking at the North Face. That's his writer's studio across the way. And at one point, he had a metal walkway between um, the porch he's on now out to that, so he could just walk straight there without going downstairs and climbing back up. Looking out to the uh, southeast, I believe, uh, you can see one of the lighthouses there on Key West. Like everything else, it's not far away. There's the writer's studio. But before we go there, I have to show the obligatory picture of a cat. I mean, White's Place is known for cats, so there, you saw a cat. All right, now we're going to go up into his writing studio itself. Oh, bonus, second cat. Reportedly, he had worked here uh, early morning till sometime before noon, and then he had spend the rest of the day drinking, fishing, or whatever else he wanted to do. Penny. So why is there a penny in the swimming pool? First of all, we need to understand that the swimming pool was the first ever constructed in Key West. It is 20 feet by 60 feet, holds 80,000 gallons, and it was dug by hand out of the limestone correct that, 24 by 64 feet, dug by hand at a cost of $20,000 in the 1930s, which equates to about $400,000 today. When Hemingway returned from a trip, he saw what his wife had constructed, took all the change out of his pocket, threw it across the ground and said, well, you might as well take my last penny too. He wasn't real happy. Well, that's exactly what she did. She took the penny and enshrined it right there. Funny part of it is he didn't pay for it, her uncle did. Anyway, here are some other pictures that we uh, picked up while we were down in Key West. We uh, went to the little White House, unfortunately we couldn't film inside. It's still a active retreat for the president and the president's family, so photography is not allowed inside. All right, that'll do it for this video. Just a little quick trip down to Hemingway's house and what I didn't know before, a little tidbit about the penny. So hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'm enjoying retirement. <laughs>